Hi Pipe Smokers, this is Paul the Pipe Guy, live from Rochester, New York, in the United States of America. Yeah. And uh, I just lit my grill up, my barbecue grill, uh, charcoal, and uh, about ready to cook some wonderful porterhouse steaks. My girl came over last night, and uh, a very good friend of mine, he's like a brother to me, and him and his girl, we went out to see Donnie Mancuso's band, uh, who originally played with Lou Graham from Foreigner uh, when they had the band called uh, Black Sheep, and that was out of Gates, New York right outside of Rochester, part of Rochester, and uh, they were phenomenal. Uh, we had a good time, home by 11, you know, <laughs> that's what happens when you get old. Uh, so, uh, I have uh, three fingers of rum. Cheers. Mm. And it's good. So um, we have a tobacco that I'd like to review. It's made by McBaron Pipe Tobacco Company. It's called Plum Cake Navy Blend. Yeah. And uh, let's read what they have to say about this. Uh, it's 3.5 ounces. Uh, <clears throat> so, they have to say, Plum Cake brings the thoughts back to old times. When the sailors on board the sailing ships filled their pipe with good, satisfying tobacco and having the scent of tar and salt water all around them, bright Virginia tobaccos mixed with burley a little original McBaron Cavendish, and just a touch of Latakia, or Latakia, however you want to pronounce it. So, let's open her up. Yeah. Mm. Son of a gun. Some of these tins are tough to open. Ah, there we go. The infamous when you open it up. And yes. Oh yeah, there we go. All right. Wow. This is really kind of Pressed into the tin, which I like. And let's smell it. Hmm, smells good. And we're going to be smoking this out of our uh, bowl number 18. This is a K Woody 500, which was produced between 1957 and 1969. An entry level K Woody. But they all have premium briars. I've got like five or six K Woody five and six hundreds. You know. And again, Paul the Pipe Guy is ill prepared. I'll be right back. Alright, so we didn't have fire or a tamper. Uh, so I had to retrieve those. Mm -hmm. Now, here's an example of where some old guy cut the stinger system off to get a better draw. I don't know, I mean... I, if you're going to buy a K Woody, you already know what it's going to be. I mean, 
Why not buy another pipe? Why not buy a Dr. Gray bow that doesn't have that system? I don't know. Definitely can taste the Virginias and the Burleys. And there is a slight note of Latakia or Latakia. That's a very good blend. So it's uh, Sunday evening about uh, 6.26, 26 minutes after the hour on Sunday, August 20, uh, 15th. I'm actually going to be uh, cooking on the charcoal grill two uh, porterhouse steaks. One I'm going to eat tonight. The other I'm going to take for lunch tomorrow. Mm. McBaron. Yeah, that's good. I like it a lot. McBaron Plum Cake. And as you can see, I already have it in the wrapper, dated 8 of 21. Yeah. 3.5 ounces. good tobacco. Mm. Anyways, I'm Paul the Pipe Guy, live from Rochester, New York. I'm going to go throw my steaks on the barbecue and uh, mm. have a great steak dinner with potatoes and broccoli with cheese on it. Yeah. I'm Paul the Pipe Guy live from Rochester, New York. Happy pipe smoking pipe smokers over and out. <laughs>